It is no surprise that calculating numbers on a rental property is so important to a successful investment. It is no secret that landlords have a tough time keeping their properties in the housing market. When it comes to rental property investing, knowing the basic process of running the numbers before you make a big purchase is key to your success. If you are going to accomplish one thing right in your rental property investing journey, this is probably the most important thing you need to get right first. If you want to calculate numbers on a rental property investing journey, you will want to make a point to get a hold of your numbers. Don't just assume your numbers are right. Take the time to double check them and make sure they are accurate. There are many ways that you can look at your rental property investing numbers. These are your real numbers. This is where your real estate agent comes in. Having an agent on your side is priceless when it comes to figuring out how to invest in rental properties. If you own a rental unit and you are thinking about investing in that property, you should consider using a real estate agent. You can find out the proper way to calculate numbers on a rental property investing journey by getting a hold of your current property balance and getting a feel for how your property is doing in relation to the rest of your portfolio. Your real estate agent will help you determine how to run your numbers on your rental property. They will help you figure out what kind of return you are getting on your investment properties and how long it takes to recoup your investment costs. They will also help you determine how long it takes to recoup your investment expenses after your rental property investments are done. If you do not have a real estate agent on your side, you will need to rely on the internet. There are many real estate sites that offer different calculators for rental properties on the internet. You should use the internet to get a feel for how your rental property is doing in relation to other rental properties in your area and how long it may take to recover your expenses from a rental property investment. Now that you know how to analyze rental property investment, take the time to double check your numbers and make sure that they are correct. Double checking and making sure can make or break your success as an investor. Once you have figured out how to analyze rental property investment and double checked your numbers, you will be ready to make some more changes to your portfolio. Now that you understand how to calculate numbers on a rental property investing venture, it is time to start implementing those changes into your portfolio. You will need to decide on a budget for each rental property in your portfolio. This budget will help you determine how much money you are going to spend on each property that you own. Once you have figured out how much you are going to spend on each property, you will need to determine which property is going to be the largest portion of your overall portfolio. You will also need to determine how much you want to spend per unit in order to get the best results from your investments. You will also need to decide how much money you are willing to lose in order to make those investments work. If you are going to lose money on your investments, you will need to make sure that you can afford to lose money. After you have figured out your budget and your investments, you are going to need to make sure that you are using this money to invest on properties in areas that are not being well served. It is better to invest in areas that are not being well served than to invest on areas that are well served. The last thing you want to do when it comes to how to calculate numbers on a rental property investing venture is to get a hold of your real estate agent and discuss your options with him or her. This is a great opportunity to get your agent on board so that you can work with an agent that is knowledgeable and experienced in this business. If you have an interest in the property business, you are most likely wondering about how to analyze real estate deals. You may be wondering if this is something you would consider seriously, and if so, how you can start. The property business is a lot of fun and offers a lot of benefits and opportunities. However, for those who know how to analyze real estate deals, you may find yourself becoming more interested in the business than ever before. If you are interested in learning how to analyze real estate deals, the first thing you need to understand is the real estate business is really just a numbers game. As a real estate agent, you are going to have to do some negotiating and getting the best deal for yourself and the buyer. However, you will also be required to get the best deal for your clients as well. These are numbers games that can be easily won through proper knowledge and strategy. When you want to become a successful real estate agent, you will have to make sure that you always know what is going on in the market and make sure that you are doing everything you can to make sure you are the best agent possible. This is why it is so important to know how to analyze real estate deals. In many cases, you will be involved in some real estate transactions where you will be acting on behalf of a buyer. 
During this time, you may have to get into the head of the seller or the buyer in order to be the best real estate agent you can be. Understanding how to analyze real estate deals can help you do this effectively. For example, if a seller wants to negotiate to sell his property quickly, you may have to think about whether or not he is going to be willing to take a short sale offer. If you do not take this into account, you may find that you will lose a lot of money when you sell the property at a reduced price. Knowing how to analyze real estate deals also allows you to have better leverage in the property business. Some agents may try to get you to go above and beyond in what you should be doing in order to get the best deal for yourself. If you do not know how to analyze real estate deals, you may never find out about these things and end up losing out. You may be curious as to how to analyze real estate deals, but you should definitely keep this in mind. The real estate business can be extremely profitable if you know how to analyze real estate deals and work with them to your advantage. A good way to learn how to analyze real estate transactions is to learn how to read a mortgage. You need to have a very good understanding of the terms and conditions of a mortgage in order to be successful in this business. Once you know how to analyze real estate transactions, you can take the information you learn and use it to negotiate with a seller. This can give you a big advantage over other agents that do not have this type of knowledge. Learning how to analyze real estate transactions can also help you decide whether or not to get into negotiations with a seller. Or not. Knowing how to analyze real estate deals will allow you to make sure that you are getting the best deal for yourself. And your clients. When investing in real estate you are putting your money at a great risk. In a simple way, investing in real property is the same as gambling. However, with the right knowledge and strategies you can increase your profits and decrease your losses, as well as improve your overall net worth. In simple terms, investing in real estate is simply buying property for rental purposes to add value and income. The key to success is putting money into the properties you buy, knowing how to market them properly, and knowing how to manage the property's upkeep and repair costs. In short, the objective of real estate investing is to make your profit now and grow it over time. Today there are many real estate investing opportunities available. Real estate investing is easy and affordable, especially to individuals who do not have a lot of money. Just by investing a few thousand dollars you can easily make your money back in just a couple of years. If you are looking for ways to start investing in real estate investing, your first step is to do some research. Investing can be done on your own, but most people do better with the help of an investment company. If you already have experience in the field then you might want to consider applying to an investment company. These companies often hire real estate professionals to oversee the day-to-day -day operation of your real estate portfolio, while you focus on investing your own money. Most companies that offer real estate investing also offer training for those new to the field. There is a lot to learn about property investing and when dealing with real properties you must keep up to date with the technology and trends in real estate investing. This information will help you avoid common mistakes and maximize your profit. Investing in real estate can be very profitable, and many investors make a full-time living from their investments. However, you must know what you are doing and be willing to learn as you go. When investing in real estate you must always be aware of the market and the trends in the area of investment. It is easy to get caught in a cycle of boom and bust in real estate. Investing in real estate is very similar to gambling, because the market is always changing and you need to stay ahead of it and learn the ins and outs to maximize your investment. Investing in real estate investing is not a sure thing, but if you find the right real estate investing company that offers excellent training and a good return on investment you can increase your profits quickly. Investing in real property can be a rewarding career for many people and has become one of the fastest growing industries in America today. With the right knowledge and techniques you can be on the winning side and enjoy good wealth. The most important thing to remember when investing in real estate investing is to never overinvest. You should invest only what you can afford to lose and you should never place any faith in something that sounds too good to be true. One of the easiest ways to spot a fraud is by looking for a company that seems like it will be a gold mine in the next few years. There are so many opportunities available to you when you begin investing in real estate investing, but there are also many scams out there that are waiting to take advantage of you. You need to research the company and learn all you can about the industry before making an investment. 
Be careful to look out for red flags such as poor customer service, lack of education about the industry, poor communication, and a lack of follow-through with your investments. It is not hard to invest in real estate investing, but you will have to put in some work. You may want to invest a little money up front to get the best returns, but when you are done you will have to invest a good deal of money to get the best returns on your investment. Investing in real estate is a good long-term investment that will increase your net worth over time. The most important thing to remember when investing in real estate investing is to be realistic about the returns you will receive and always have realistic expectations. Real estate investing is an exciting and lucrative business but it does require some work on your part.